so six months roughly. Or March to November, yeah. whenever the clocks change. Yes. Yeah. Okay. My name is Garrett Ian, representing myself. I'm from Concord. Time itself is such a powerfully multifaceted concept. It's amazing to consider how much the documentation and measurement of time has advanced human civilization and evolution. Its measurement is an intrinsic part of every aspect of uh, human culture on Earth and reflects regional distinctions, and in the case of the United States, an unnatural government bending of the will of our clocks. More than a generation before almost everyone alive today was born, a decision was made by folks in a position of authority who probably should have known better and for questionable reasons to alter our measurement of uh, time in a perpetually shifting way. When we consider how natural our measurement of time would be without the government, we can recognize the daylight savings time concept as the anomaly to our functioning natural system that it is. When the United States was originally formed, the founders convened standards for weights, measurements, currency, but time was already so enough culturally ingrained that it wasn't necessary to standardize and mandate a coordinated system um, in this country for that. Since 1967, Arizona has been free of daylight savings time clock shifting. Hawaii has been since 1945, which was well before it was a state. Um, it's no wonder that so many folks would want to retire to Arizona considering that you're not messing with your clocks and that the clock shifting is said to affect the elderly most, effect, uh, most severely, because uh, increases in strokes, increases in heart attacks that occur, occur along daylight savings time, obviously most severely impact the elderly. Um, increases in traffic accidents have been documented, general sleep disorders have been documented around the specific times in which the clocks are changed. And um, there's just nothing natural about forcibly shifting our bodies to, to a different time than, than the sun and the earth and the universe is that. Um, so the bill presented creates a wonderful opportunity for New Hampshire, Maine, and Massachusetts, recognizing the existing cultural ties of coastal no uh, northeastern New England to reallow time to be measured in a natural, cyclical fashion as it does in the true physical realm. As the sun does not suddenly jump backwards in the sky, our measurement of its movements should not do that either. As a person who is more inclined to be active in the evenings, I prefer hours of more hours of sunshine in the evenings in the winter. But whether it's ultimately decided to stick to EST or uh, with no clock shifts or a permanent Atlantic Standard Time with no clock shifts, um, I think the the important thing to take from the bill is that we we try to uh, lead the nation in stopping this idea of messing with the clocks, um, as Arizona and Hawaii have been way ahead of us on. Um, it's a disruption programmed into our lives that is unnecessary, that we have good reason and purpose to alleviate um, with our neighbors to the west and to the south. And uh, it's an incredible chance for New Hampshire to lead the nation against what was uh, an incredible mistake with, uh, it seemed minuscule, but has major consequences. And uh, it can help return regularity, consistency, and harmony to our lives where we unnecessarily disrupt it. Um, I thank you for your time, and I'd be happy to answer any questions. I guess uh, one more point I would just make is if you look at a lot of the time zones on the map of the United States, um, there's places where like little corners of states aren't within the time zone of the rest of the state. And you would think that would be confusing because it's within the same state, shouldn't it be the same thing? But um, I think in Indiana is an example, like the Chicago metropolitan area is northwestern Indiana. The northwestern corner of Indiana has more ties to Chicago than it does to the remainder of Indiana, so it makes sense for them to be on Chicago time. And I'd say Boston is the same with New Hampshire. Boston is this region's major metropolitan area. So uh, the, the fact that Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts are the three in this pact makes the most sense. If Vermont wanted to join, that's great. But if you think of it, they're west of us. So their advantage would be slightly less than ours as to the east getting uh, the earlier sunshine. Thank you. Um, if you, I just have this one page if you'd like it. I'm sure you can. Thank you. Thank you. And the chair calls Will Anderson. My name is Will Anderson. I'm from Concord, and I am in support of this bill. Uh, thank you for hearing my testimony. Um, the uh, previous, uh, a lot of the previous people giving testimony were 
uh, addressing a lot of the more technical aspects of this bill and why it would be logical to, to switch to Atlantic Time. Um, I would like to go more for, um, from a personal perspective. Um, I have a friend uh, who also lives in Concord um, who would have loved to have been here, but unfortunately her schedule, her work schedule didn't allow her to be here. So I'd, I'd like to um, basically, not testify on her behalf, but uh, share a personal story as far as her. So she has a young daughter who's a six-year-old, and um, so the twice a year switching of time zones here uh, greatly disrupts her her daughter's schedule and consequently um, uh, her as well. Um, it might be it might be more obvious that in the spring when we uh, when we jump forward that that would be a disadvantage where it would be harder for her her daughter to wake up in the morning um, and then consequently she'd want to stay up later in the evening, which happens. But um, it's as much of a disadvantage in the fall. Uh, when we go back as well, because um, she gets tired earlier in the evening, wants to go to bed earlier, and consequently um, tends to get up earlier in the morning, which uh, hurts her mother as well because it disrupts her sleep schedule too. Um, so uh, the, the consistency of having the same time all year round would be of great benefit to her. And I imagine like she's not a unique case. I imagine like a lot of children like consistency and schedules, um, so I think this would be, um, you know, a great benefit to, to children and the parents as well in not having to disrupt their schedules with the, the twice a year time shift. I'll take any questions. Okay. Hi, Seven, and we'll be back at one o'clock. Mm -hmm.